Hi everyone, this is Jay from Technic Solutions. In this video, we will install Windows ADK 1803 on our SCCM server Technic SU1. So, in the previous video, we installed SQL Server on our SCCM server Technic SU1. So, click on the I button to view full playlist of this series SCCM Current Branch Full Guide. So, I button is located at the top right hand corner of this video. So you may or may not know ADK 1809 recently has been released. However, I checked Microsoft documentation and latest ADK is not supported with SCCM current branch 1802. So, um, however, SCCM 1806 supports 1809 ADK. I would like to mention that we will install SCCM current branch 1802 to start with and then we will update it to 1806 which means we cannot install 1806 straight away and also we will get an opportunity later to upgrade our ADK in the forthcoming videos and ADK support for SCCM can be checked at the given link in the description also follow the link in the description as well to download Windows ADK 1803 you can download it offline like I did I'll show you soon or you can directly uh, install it on the server from internet. So this is the link which I mentioned earlier where you can check which uh, ADK is supported with which version of SCCM. And as you can see 1809 is here. So on 1802 it's not supported and um, on 1806 version it is supported. So we will install it on 1806 later uh, in the forthcoming videos. To download ADK Go to the given link and in the given link now so you will you have to scroll down actually so you'll see adk for windows 10 version 1803 when you click on this you will download xe file i already downloaded xe file so you double click it to run it so as soon as you run it, it you have that option to download it offline or install it directly so if you're running on the server straight away you can uh, pick that option or you can pick that option to download the offline files okay so once you download offline files I show you later what to do with that so if you're running directly on the server and then you pick the first option install this and this is a location that's a default lake location and click next and uh, yes or no up to you and then from there onwards you can install it so now I'm going back to our server which is technex seo one and in this one I have already downloaded the files so the files are in Windows Kits 10 ADK and ADK setup. If I double click, so that's that's uh, offline installation. Okay, so I'll click on Run. Okay, so I'll click on Run, and um, then I will pick the install this at this path, and click Next. So that's up to you if you want to send the anonymous da usage data. So I'll pick no, I'll go ahead and I'll accept. So I'll just stick with the defaults. I don't want application compatibility tools and uh, I don't want this experience analyzer or uh, volume activation, okay? So I'll go with the defaults and click on install. Yes, and I will be back once this is done. Okay, so installation is finished and now we can click on close. That's about it for this video and in the next video we will actually extend Active Directory Schema which we will be doing on our domain controller. So give this video a thumbs up if you feel like it's informative for you and show your support. Um, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.